Back in 1973, Toyota manufactured probably the best car I've known and heard of. It was a Toyota Scarlet. It was like a Toyota Corolla, but smaller. It was small, it was fuel efficient, it was fun, and pretty much very comfortable. The only thing about it is that they made it from 1981 to 1984 in the US, so it's kind of hard to find one. So we had to come over here to Miami, Midtown, to find one. And it's right here. We found a man who owns this very own Toyota Scarlet from 1982. This is Jonathan. Hey man, how are you? How's it going? Good man, good. So tell me, how did you get it? Everything about it, I want to know everything. Oh, well, I mean, I've been trying to track this car down for about a year. A friend of mine had it, he was trying to sell it. Um, he regretted it, he didn't want to sell it. Then I called him up, he needed some money. I told him, you know, I'm going to take care of the car. Uh, my dad used to have one, so that's why I really wanted one. Mm -hmm. And it's a fun car, man. It's, a, it's an original car, original paint, you know, original interior. Um, Everything pretty much aside from the wheels. Everything aside from the wheels and tires are original on this car. Wow. You know, AC, uh, I changed the steering wheel to a wood steering wheel. Um, but the car, it, it, anything else, I mean, it's all original. Oh, uh, it's a hard car to find. Um, there's very few in this condition. And this is one of the cleanest ones that I've ever owned. Fuck that bitch, slap that hoe. Fuck that bitch, kidnap that hoe. Fuck that bitch, put your fingers around her throat. Fuck that bitch and just choke, choke, choke. I hate bitches, but I love pussy. This car weighs about 750 kilos. Yep. Which is nothing, it's under a ton. Yep. And the horsepower output was about 82 horsepower. It's about 82 horsepower, yeah. That's a little over 110 horsepower per ton. So you're not losing any of the horsepower with this. That's the thing. Another thing is that the layout of this car, it's rear wheel drive. Yes, rear wheel drive. It's not front wheel drive at all. It's the last Toyota Starlet that they made that was rear wheel drive. Yeah, this is the 60 series. Yep. This is the 82. This means this, this is, is carbureted. Yep, it's carbureted. It's a 1.3 liter engine. Um, right now it's completely stock except for the carburetor. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, uh, they do modify them. They put double carburetors. Uh, they change, you know, they, they change the pistons, they, you know, they, they change the internals of in the engine. They bring it up to about, let's say, 115, 120 uh, horsepower. horsepower. All right. And since it's a very, very powerful car. There's an issue. Since we're in 2013 and the fuel prices has hit, how many miles to the gallon can you get with this? Well, it might be an issue for everyone else, but for me, it's about 45 miles per gallon. Wow. You see, that's the thing. You can have fun with this car. I mean, you don't have power steering. I don't have power steering, which is even more fun. Exactly. But you do have air conditioning. I do have air conditioning. And a radio. And a radio. I mean, viewers, come on. This is the future. Well, the past is the future. Yep, this is it. Nigga, 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 nigga. I'm 100% nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga. I'm 200% nigga. All right, why don't you show me the heart of this tiny beast? No problem. Let's do it. Here you are, man. All right, so this is a 1.3 liter engine, carbureted. Carbureted 1.3 liter engine, yep. It's a five-speed um, rear-wheel drive, mm -hmm. and uh, only a very, very, very limited came uh, with a limited slip differential. Is it, does this have one? This does not have one, unfortunately. Ah. Those are in uh, Australia All right. or in the, in the UK. Man, we could have had some fun. <laughs> yeah, we can still have fun. Don't worry about that. All right. As long as you have an e-brake, you have fun. All right, we'll do that then. Yep, the only thing I've done to it was the battery and the uh, bigger carburetor. All right, so that's a masterpiece. Why don't we check out the trunk? All right, here's where pretty much everyone's going to be impressed with this car because of the amount of trunk space. You have about 12 feet of, well, 12 cubic feet of space in here. And that's without even taking out the rear seats. Yep, exactly. Actually, you want to see how that goes down? Yeah. All right. Show me. There you go. So what is that, about 40 cubic feet over there? Let's just say I can sleep in there very comfortably. <laughs> All right, so this right here, those are the struts back there. Those right? are from the struts, yep. As you can see, I can put a strut bar uh, an extra strut bar right yeah. there for, for more strengthening with no problem and I'll still keep my trunk space. See viewers, why are you buying new cars? What the hell's the matter? Look at this. Trunk space.
space for four people. Small engine, fuel efficient, fun. This is good stuff over here. This is the only way I go. Old <laughs> cars, go? old classic cars, that's all I do. And Toyotas. Over here, as you can see, there's a huge rear window. That means there's good visibility. Oh, I can see everything. If for whatever case, my rear wheel mirror falls, all I have to do is turn my neck and I can see anything I want. God. And that's patina right there. That's, that's a little bit of character right yeah, there. That's, just the only, that's the only thing that's wrong with the car. That's it. That's fixable. I mean, but original metal, mm -hmm. original paint, no bondo, classic original car. And tell me about the classic 80s bumper. The classic 80s bumper, originally, they come a flat matte black. Mm -hmm. My friend who used to own it painted it shiny black. I don't personally like it, but for now, it's staying on, but I will change that. Kind of like this, it adds character to it. It adds character. I mean, you have shiny wheels on it, so yep. why not have a shiny bumper? Hey, you gotta mix and match, right? Yeah. And let me show you another thing. I can drive this car, all six foot three of me. So we're inside the Starlet right now, and it's all original. Well, aside from the radio. Aside from the radio, and the steering wheel, and the shift knob, it's all original. Something I noticed here, the clutch pedal is so light. Yeah, it's like uh, cutting into butter. Oh Extremely my light. God. It's hot butter. Yeah, that's, hot butter. That's what exactly, it is. Exactly, hot butter. All right, so you have lights, which work. Yep, all the lights work. You have a place to put necessary Love compartment, which is pretty deep. And something you don't get in every car nowadays. An ashtray. An ashtray. And the air conditioning, how is it? It's freezing, freezing cold. Better than the newest car I've ever had. You really want another, another car than this one? Come on. Cars nowadays, they're thinking about luxury and comfort. And I don't see a lack of comfort here. There's no lack of comfort. As you can see, I mean, you're a very tall guy. 6'3". And how comfortable are you? Actually, um, more than an, a new car because of these seats. I mean, they're original, right? They're original leather, original spring seats. Mm -hmm. And they're more comfortable than any new foam, bucket, luxury, leather, heated seats I've ever sat on. I mean, I, I just love them. And there's something else, I got a lot of headroom. A lot of headroom. And it's a small car. It's a small car. When I get in the Yaris, it's a bit hard for me to get my head in there. Yeah, people think because it's a small car, there's no space, but once they, set, they sit inside, they're amazed. It's a very, very spacious car. And something else, back here there's actual room for two people. Yep, room for two more people. And there's still trunk space, oh my god. Well, let's just take it for a spin. Let's do it. the most comfortable, fun, enjoyable drive I can have every single day. I drive this car every day, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. The only time this car rests is when I go to sleep. Other than that, this car is driving every day. In the heat, in the cold, no matter what, reliable. Everybody looks at it, stares at it. It's very classic, unique. It's a fun car, man. As you guys can see, we are going through Midtown right now. At the best hour of the day, and as you can see, it's just so simple to drive. Oh my God. Holy hell. Nigga, 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 nigga. Why do you call yourself a nigga? Nigga, 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 nigga. Cause I'm a motherfucking nigga. Yeah, everything's accessible the way it needs to be. These cars in Japan, they use them a lot for circuit racing. <laughs> So, I mean, you can feel that this car was made for that. It's made for everyday driving, comfortable, uh, reliable. I mean, at the end of the day, man, I would never trade my old cars for anything new. I do all the road tests for this show, and honestly, I think this is the best car I've driven yet. Nigga, 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 why you drink so much beer? Nigga, 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 I don't drink beer, I drink more liquor. Cause I'm a this car isn't just fuel efficient, also, it keeps your fuel safe. Safe and sound. You got one lock here, 
and then you got one lock on the gas cap. That means no one's stealing your gas. Nice and safe. Nigga, 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 nigga. Why you eat so much chicken? Nigga, 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 nigga. Why would you make it in my kitchen? So, we've reached the end of the program. All I can say is, again, it's fuel efficient, it's comfortable, it's spacious, it's luxurious even, and <laughs> you can't get it anymore. Since 1984, they don't make it in America. You can't get it from America. It's very rare, it's very hard to find one, unless he's selling it for about 4,500 bucks, so you can probably <laughs> get a deal right here. But if you want a modern equivalent to this one, you probably have to get an Eco, a Yaris, or probably one that uses the same frame as this one, which is the Scion XB. It's kind of a shame, actually. Well, you guys take that in. He's gonna take me for another ride. See you guys next time. Now comes the real fun.